Okay, let's see. Who else am I going to pick with? Where she stops, nobody knows. The little, I'm going to go up and down. And I'm going to pick someone that probably is not thought I would pick them. I'm going to pick her right now. Here we go. All right. Now this person, I know doesn't expect me to do her chart. But she hangs around, and I'm hoping she'll get to look at this video and see what I see when I see her chart. So I'm pulling it up now. And I'm not going to say anything for a second. Take my sip. And I wonder if you recognize your chart. Mm -mm -mm, mm Okay, well, this chart belongs to Iestroma. I never said your name right. Iestromina? Stro? Iestromia. I always just say Mia Shade. Let's just call her Mia Shade. Iestromia. 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 Shade. Okay, I, I think I've showed all your information. God bless. Anyway, Iestromia. Let's just say Mia. Here's your information. <laughs> Always call her Mia anyway. What a chart you have. I mean, you, the, the fact is that you have a, one distinctive chart at birth and another distinctive chart now because of the progressions. So let's look at it a little bit. At birth, your sun was in the 12th house, your Venus was in the 12th house, and your Uranus was in the 12th house, and they were all conjunct each other and all technically conjunct your ascendant. You know, when you have these planets conjunct your ascendant, that's pretty major. This is a major thing. Also, progress Venus is here, um, by the way, right now. So, you know, it's almost like, oh, how can I say this? It's... With most people, when you meet them, you're dealing with them. Just them. There's not usually a lot of baggage with them. You come with trunks of baggage. Now, I don't even know what it is. Some of it might just be <laughs> just because you're you, right? Or because you have a past love history or because you're different or whatever, but it's all around the you that is you. So it doesn't leave you. It's always there. I would even go so far as to say, that, you know, you got three personalities and those personalities can come through in any way. I mean, I don't think I even talked to you about this when I did your horoscope reading because we did a pro reading together. But when I look at it now and I'm seeing three distinct personalities all sitting around your ascendant, all able to show up at any different time. That's the you that I think is courageous. That is, you know, really giving, loving, and just, uh, you know, well, you're Scorpio, and you know that. So you're probably in the dark doing all kinds of secret stuff. Then we got the Venus Scorpio person. I got Venus and Scorpio, so I know how we are. We're so jealous. We don't want no... I, look, I have Venus and Scorpio, and I'm telling you, we'd rather be alone than have to share the person we want to be with because we're possessive. And I hope that you've come to grips with that, and I know that you have issues uh, you know, with the love life, so maybe that might have part of it. Also, I'm looking at Uranus. There's another distinct personality. It's a very different, unique persona. So you're changeable, and it's sitting right on your ascendant. I see a very multi-changeable person. And I really see that now because you got your progressed moon sitting up here in the ninth house. It is indeed, at this time, your most elevated planet, which tells me that, in essence, you're just damn changeable. Changing all the damn time. You don't know what you want. You're just changing. Where's the moon? Where's the moon? Where's there's the moon? That's it. Changing. I was like, there's the moon is in the third house by birth. Changing. You're changeable. Woo. You could change with the wind. Now the good thing is that you had it in Capricorn in the third house. This is actually very good. I mean, between the Scorpio ascendant and the Capricorn moon. It gives some solidity to your chart. It really does. Even though 
the moon has progressed up here into, oh, wow, and it's 29 degrees. I take back the stability. It's freaking opposite your moon. Damn. How I missed that? Did I miss that before? Girl, your moon is opposed to your moon. <laughs> that whole unstable seesaw effect. Ah, oh, with Pluto sitting in Leo, Libra. Mm -hmm. Is the mid heaven in Libra yet? Yes, it is. I just feel like the weighing. This no wait. Wait, 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 I'm gonna do no, I'm I'm doing that. No, 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 no. let's try this. No, 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 wait, no, no. no, 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 no. <sighs> Find a course, stick to the course. Okay? Because if you're all over the place, with this moon being your most elevated planet, it'll take you wherever your emotions allow you to go. And I could be anywhere with Uranus on the ascendant. <laughs> we might have to do another reading soon. <laughs> I love you, Mia. Happy holidays to you. Merry Christmas. And we'll talk soon, I'm sure. <laughs> Lots of love to you. Astrology. A look inside. Featuring Capricorn Tigress. Western Intuitive Astrologer. Astrology, a look inside.